the rumors that we've heard is that the Sony verse, like the Sony Spider Verse, is supposed to finally intertwine with the six one six universe that the MCU has, right? Right. So wouldn't they try to get close as accurate as possible with that type of storyline? Right? They they can adapt it into like their own type of thing. But if they want to take that storyline and go with it, it seems like Sidney Sweeney's character is going to end up kind of being the main focal point going forward in that story. Mm. At least that movie will build it up to that point. I mean, yeah. That, that That's just what I'm getting based off of what you read. Right. Like, if they go with um, that, this is how it will be planned out. It's, it's just hard to understand when they're just kind of like just throwing out these movies Mm -hmm. because with the movies that we've seen right so far we have venom and we have morbius right that have came out in theaters that we've seen the whole project all the way through right as far as sony verse movies it's been venom one and two and it's been morbius we're still waiting for craven the hunter to come out right we're mm-hmm. still, we're obviously waiting for Madam Web. That's going to be coming out before Craven the Hunter, which kind of worries me a little bit more. We've gotten a Craven the Hunter trailer. It wasn't it supposed to come out sometime this year, but it got pushed back because the writer strike. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. There is there a due date for it, the, or a release date for it? Where's the release date for Craven the Hunter? There has to be a release date for Craven the Hunter. Uh, okay. Oh. As of right now, it's coming out in 2024, August 30th, 2024. Right? Mm-hmm. We were given a Craven the Hunter trailer, right? Before a Madam Web trailer. Now, Craven the Hunter gets pushed back, obviously, for reasons outside of what Craven the Hunter is supposed to be about. It gets pushed back to, according to what I looked up, August 30th, 2024. We're getting the Madam Web trailer and we're getting the Madam Web movie before Craven the Hunter. We're getting it February 14, 2024. Oh, Sony, you know. So, this is me trying to be a little bit optimistic, right? Mm-hmm. At the end of Venom 2, it shows that he goes into Tom Holland's universe, blah, 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 blah. Then he leaves Tom Holland's universe and we don't know what's going to happen at that point. They left it open for us to you know, get ready to finally see Spider-Man. Even though he left the universe. But it teases that. You know what I mean? For Morbius, at the end, it it shows Vulture getting transported to Morbius' universe, which is a completely different universe. And that, you know, Morbius and Vulture know Spider-Man. Right? So it hypes it up for Spider-Man again. The only difference is, and what's not explained, and what's you know hopefully is going to be explained uh, in a later film, that they're not talking about the same Spider-Man. Vulture is talking about a completely different Spider-Man, and uh, Morbius is talking about a completely different Spider-Man, or at least there's a different Spider-Man in his mind. Yeah. With Craven the Hunter and Madam Web coming out, are we getting an end credit scene where it helps us explain? you know what's going to happen next and how these other sony projects that have came out how is that going to help us try and intertwine them together right because there's no way that we can continue to go forward with these if none of these films are connected with each other or none of the sony verse movies are connected with each other because then that just makes it all the more worse because morbius hasn't even met up with venom yet we don't know how we don't know even if he does it's just super weird he knows who venom is though that's the funny thing he knows who venom is okay so there has to be a way when venom 3 comes out when is venom 3 coming out let's talk about that now venom venom 3 comes out in 2024 comes out november 8th all right so it comes out after madam web it comes out after craven the hunter Mm mm-hmm so is Venom 3 supposed to be 
the last kind of thing is this is it supposed to be the movie that connects all those characters together because if that's the case then it may try and help these sony projects you know have a purpose of being there right because even though Morbius is a bad movie, all right, you haven't seen the Morbius movie, right? No. Okay. Even though Morbius is a terrible movie, it still helped us explain, you know, how Vulture got there and what's the purpose of him being there and now what's Morbius's new purpose, right? Venom still helps us explain what uh his purpose is and that's to go after spider-man and we see that at the end of venom 2 so now with all these movies that are coming out in the sun universe with madam webb and craven are they going to help us be like we're going after spider-man we're going after peter parker peter parker is the next is, is the next big mission and then when venom 3 comes in do they all come together and say let's all go after peter parker and then a movie, and then the Sinister Six movie comes out after that. Is that Sony's big plan? Possibly. I think that's how it's possibly going to go. If we break it down that way. What do you think? What well, I think they're going to lazily write these worlds to merge. Lazily write the worlds to merge. I think they're all in the same world, though. The, the villains, yeah. I'm talking about the villains with the MCU, though. You're just talking about the villains of the MCU. What villains are left in the MCU that are a part of the Sinister Sticks with Tom Holland's Vulture universe? Vulture and Scorpion. Vulture is in Morbius' universe at the end. Right. But then Scorpion is still in the MCU. Okay. He's the and only then, one. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, Mysterio's dead. And then the third one, he didn't really get a new villain. He just kind of like was fighting a bunch of old villains from different universes. It was a nostalgia fest of villains. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, there really wasn't a... He didn't fight a new villain, now that I really think about it. No. I mean, he had a main villain, but it wasn't like a new villain. The main villain was what, Green Goblin? Yeah. Which is all the Spider-Man's main villain. Yeah, but, you know... 